Well, hi everybody and a very pleasant Saturday to you. Whether you're watching this on your computer or on a telephone or on a tablet or on your smart TV, uh, it is good to remember that whenever we can come together like this in the name of Jesus, we are the church. Friends, I want to read to you today from the very first chapter of the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament. Jeremiah was one of the great prophets of Israel. I'm going to start in chapter 1, verses 4 and following. Now, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, and I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And then I said, Ah, oh, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy, for you shall go out to all whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. And then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. It's a powerful word for today. It's been on my mind just a little bit because um, among the many things, with tomorrow being Mother's Day and, and the many birthdays we have celebrated this month, uh, today, Today, May 9th, is my grandson's 13th birthday, and there's nothing Judy and I would have loved more than to be with him today, but we can't, except maybe to send a greeting to him as I send this message to you. I am thinking about him today, uh, not because becoming a teenager is an awesome thing in everybody's life, but because this is that tender time in many people's lives when the Lord really begins to speak to a person. You know those scenes in the movie where somebody picks up a letter and starts to read it, and as they start to read, you hear the voice of the reader going through the letter, but suddenly another voice overlaps the voice, and you hear the, the author of the letter's voice start to come in, and then by the end of the letter, you're only hearing the author's voice. That's kind of how it is when we come to faith in Christ, isn't it? We start out hearing the voice of our moms or our dads or our Sunday school teacher or the youth director or, or somebody else. And they are the ones who shepherd and guide us along. But at some point, right about the age that my grandson is today, the voice of the Lord begins to overlap and we realize we're not just listening to our parents and guardians and teachers and others, but we're hearing God's own voice. Do you remember what it was like when that happened in your life? Do you remember how thrilled you were to discover that you could have a living faith? Were you, were you at a camp? Were you horsing around in a youth group? Were you saying your prayers at night and sensing the awesome weight of transitioning from childhood into adulthood? Do you remember that moment when you said, oh God, and God said, I'm here. Can you remember? I think that today, what I want to do as a, as a birthday present to my grandson is to remember uh, that inner child of my own and to call each of you to remember the inner child of your own, to go all the way back to when you were 12 or 13 years old and God began to talk to you. What did you talk about? Did God say, I'm going to appoint you a prophet to the nations? And, and have you followed through on that? How has your life been? when you know that God is speaking to you? Did you have friends? Because it happens this way. Yeah. Our detractors will tell you, you're crazy, you're nuts. And our friends will tell you, hey, turn down the zeal just a little bit. But no, I wanna say to you today, go back and make friends with that child that you were and tell them it's okay to acknowledge that God is speaking to you. It's okay to follow that up. And to Benjamin, my grandson today, I want to say we are so very proud of you. 
we love you so much. And when God is speaking to your heart, you can tell us all about it. We can't wait to hear it. And for all of us today, let's be in prayer. Loving God, what a privilege this is that we can talk with you, but hear you answer back. We do ask forgiveness, O oh Lord, for the times when we told people that you were speaking and they shouted us down and we listened to the others and not to you. But we know, Lord, that you do forgive. God, speak to our hearts again. Put your words in our mouth. We live in a world right now that needs you so much and we want to be your messengers, your witnesses, your ambassadors of peace. And so God, Help us to be in touch with you today, to hear your voice and your word for us. Help us to remember what a gift it is that the God of creation speaks to our heart. And we pray this, Lord, in the name of Jesus, who makes even these prayers possible. Amen. Well, friends, that's it for this Saturday, May 9th. Um, and I... I hope that in your prayers today, you might join with me in wishing a very happy birthday to our grandson, Benjamin, and to anyone else you know who's having a birthday. Remember to wash your hands. We're still being careful. The virus is still out there. So wash your hands. Read a psalm today. And today, tell that inner child who first heard the Lord so many years ago, tell that person that you love them. Have a great day. <laughs>